Welcome back to the Mannheim More Than a Minute Newsroom. Today is Tuesday, February 16th, 2021, and it is a day D. You'll be heading to see Mrs. King and Mr. Mummer for specials today. The Great Kindness Challenge continues. We hope that you're making some headway on doing kind things for others. Today, we look forward to seeing everyone wearing their red clothing in the hallways. Tomorrow's Spirit Day is Kindness Shines Brightly. Please wear sparkles, tie-dye, neon colors, anything that makes you stand out and shine brightly. What day is it? Fuss Nut Day. This pastry is made from potatoes and yeast. Oh, it's a delicious donut. And it came to the U.S. by the way of the Pennsylvania Dutch. So the pastry is one of their principal food traditions. Now, this sweet treat is often cut into triangles or squares. I had no idea. The potatoes? I, I had no idea. Mm. Uh, Mr. Mummert always brings a huge box of these Fosnots once a year. It is such a special treat. Mrs. Bowers, is this one of your shout outs? Yes. <laughs> I'm sure hoping they're here this year. Oh, I hope his mom makes these. Uh -huh. Mrs. Mummert makes the best Fosnots ever ever they're the only ones they've ever eaten but they are the best it's really hard to eat just one. Oh, they're so good really good so hmm, hope you get to enjoy a foss knot today hi guys welcome back to another week of talk show tuesday today i'm here with miss hickey who you may have seen in the hallways she is working as a student teacher in mrs davis's fourth grade class so when you're walking down the hallway be sure to wave to her so, Miss Hickey, what would you like all the kids here at Mannheim to know about you? Tell us a little bit about you. Oh my goodness. Well, hi guys. <laughs> I am a senior at your college. That's about 35 minutes from here, but I'm originally from New Jersey. So, I'm a bit away from home, but I'm so happy to be here. Um, so, I'm studying to be an early childhood educator, just like Mrs. Davis. Um, so, I'm here learning what it looks like to be a teacher. So, if you have any tips for me in the hallways, feel free to <laughs> shoot in my way. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. We love having you. We're excited, so excited that you're here. So instead of doing would you rather questions, I just have some questions so that we can get to know Miss Hickey a little bit more. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. What is your favorite game to play? My favorite game to play? I think it would be a game called dominoes. Not like your typical dominoes. It's a, a game, like a counting game that I actually learned over the summer. So I would have to say that's my favorite one. Dominoes. Yeah. All right. What's your favorite cereal? Cheerios, the plain kind, no other kind, just the plain original Cheerios, absolutely. Cheerios. Yep. What is your favorite holiday? Christmas, without a doubt, Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yep. Here's a good one. Okay. How high can you count? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Mrs. Davis does teach math, you know, so this is very important. Ooh, um, I'd like to say pretty high, um, but once I get to, you know, the bigger digit numbers, I, I feel like I lose count when I'm counting, so. <laughs> I'm going to tell myself I can count pretty high. Yeah, that's a great answer because I don't even know how high I can yeah. count. I've never tried it. That's what you can do in your spare time. There you go. That's it. Do you have any hidden talents? Um, not hidden talents. I guess my only one is I can play the guitar a little bit. So mm. I self-taught that a few summers ago. So something I've always that. wanted to learn. Yeah. If you could go anywhere in the world right now, where would it be? Thailand. For sure. I think it's beautiful. Well, I haven't seen it, but when I see it, it looks beautiful. So I've always wanted to go there. Thailand. Yeah. It does sound beautiful. Um, what is your favorite thing to do with your friends? We actually like to just sit in our, in our living room that we have and just play music and sing along with each other and just have a little jam session in our living room. So that's what we do a lot. Great bonding. Yeah. And here's our last question. What is the best thing that's ever happened to you? I think the best thing that actually happened was pretty recently. I got myself a puppy. His name is Archie. He's a little Pouchon, half um, poodle, half Pichon. I'd like to say that there's other great things that happened to me, but the first thing that came to my head was my puppy. So. Yeah. And Mrs. Bowers is a huge dog fan, so everyone that watches the news knows that that is a great answer. Yes, absolutely. All right, guys. So as you see Miss Hickey walking down the hallway, be sure to say hi to her and make her feel welcome here at Mannheim. Anything you want to say? No, just thank you so much for having me. I hope to see some more s smiley faces, you know, underneath the mask in the hall. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Our core value for February is kindness. Let's take a look at our video for this week. He dribbles down the court. He breaks away.
away. The crowd is going wild. He shoots. He scores. Slam dunk. He's hanging from the rim. Game over. The crowd goes wild. Come on. A little applause, please. That was brilliant. At least I know you guys out there are clapping. Am I right? I'm awesome, by the way. And even if you weren't applauding, you definitely will be after I finish telling you this story that I heard from my friend Rob. See, Rob has this kid named Carter who plays for the sixth grade basketball team. The team's not bad. Well, there's this one kid who's kind of pulling him down. Luke. Luke once lost a whole game by missing his free throws. So bad that it took out the concession stand. And knocked off Coach Wilder's toupee. After the game, Jin is like, that is so lame. And Ryan says, Luke should just quit the team. But Carter realizes that Luke overheard them. He feels terrible. So he punches Luke's shoulder and says, you just need some extra practice. And Luke is like, my dad is too busy. So Carter dives in and says, I'll help you. So the next week, every day after practice, Luke and Carter shoot free throws. Like 3,498. The next game, Coach Wilder finally puts Luke in, and Luke gets fouled right away and has to take another free throw. Everybody groans. Everybody except Carter. Luke lines up the shot. Carter holds his breath. For so long, he starts to float away. Luke finally takes the shot. The ball flies through the air. It hits the rim and goes in! Everybody gets high fives and high twenties and a parade throughout the school! And in celebration, Luke and Carter get Coach Wilder a brand new toupee! So kids, remember that kindness is showing others how valuable they are by how you treat them. And never forget that today is the day you witnessed a basketball star in the making. He comes down the court, he goes for the thing, and he shoots for the and he shoots, and he, seriously? That was uncommon. Okay, okay, take it again. He starts with a Um, actually, did you not watch? You're making me a little nervous. As you go through today, please focus on kindness and think of other ways that you can show others how valuable they are by how you treat them. It's time, boys and girls, to remember what our star expectations are. Strive to do your best. Take responsibility for your actions. Always be safe and respect people and property. Make today an awesome day, Mannheim.